What's good, Griffin? One three here back in the day. And today, guys, I want to go over the brand new car pass cars for Forza Horizon 4 during Series 5, which will last from about mid January to sometime in early February. More specifically, January 17th to February the 7th. But, guys, I am so excited because there are a lot of amazing cars coming in the car pass, like the first one on this list, which is the 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera S. And in my honest opinion, I think that this car is sleek. I'm not really a 911 fan, but this has got to be one of my favorite generations of the Porsche 911. It's very simple. There's not really a whole lot going on to it. It's got a wider body than the last generation, although I think it's about the same width on some of the sportier models, but the base model this time around is wider than the base model of the last generation. And honestly, I really like the taillight on this car. It, it goes all the way across the rear end. I love how that looks. Honestly, guys, this car is freaking amazing. Coming with 444 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque, I am really, really looking forward to thrashing this around Horizon. But up next, what we have is the 1993 Porsche 968 Turbo S. Now, this car was actually the replacement of the Porsche 944 and shares about 20% of the parts from that same car. Now, honestly, I'm a big fan of the 944. I've never actually even heard of the 968 before. I've never really seen these around. I don't know if they were even sold over here in the United States. But honestly, you know what? I can get behind it. I can get behind it. It looks like it's going to be a fun little car to drive around. Um, we'll probably make a good drift car because it is front-engined. Which actually, fun fact, this is the last front-engined car that Porsche made until the Cayenne in 2003. So that's kind of a nice little fun fact. And that is the week of Porsches, which is January 17th, 2019. But in our next week, I don't know what to call this week. It's kind of random. We have an extremely rare Honda and a very classic Mercedes-Benz. But let's go ahead and start things off with a Honda, which is the 2005 Honda NSX RGT. And the only reason this car was actually built was to comply with Super GT production rules where you had to have at least five production models of your race car. You had to have at least five production vehicles, that is, not models. So basically, what they did is Honda just made five cars that looked like the race car. The thing is, though, is you see that roof scoop? It doesn't work. It's absolutely garbage. Some of the things that are on this car is I believe it was lowered and has a slightly wider body, but there's really not a whole lot known about what the difference between the NSX RGT and the regular Honda NSX are. There's really not that many differences whatsoever. And a lot of people don't know what those differences are because only five of these cars were made. And the people who have them aren't talking about the fact that they have these cars. So no one really knows where they are, what they're doing now. All we know is that there's a non-functional roof scoop on a Honda. That's basically it. That's basically it. But up next, what we have is the 1929 Mercedes-Benz Supersport Kurz Barker Roadster, also known as the Mercedes-Benz SSXK, or not SSSK, SSK. That, that's right. I got it right. Got it right eventually. Now, this was the last car to actually be designed by Ferdinand Porsche before he went to go and start his own company. So that is kind of cool. This is like basically... Ferdinand Porsche's last hurrah before starting Porsche. I mean, that that's crazy to think about. That is absolutely crazy. But as well, this car was actually a semi-finalist for Car of the Century. I, I think that's amazing because some of the cars that we know were Car of the Century contestants was the Model T, which was the winner. There was the Mini Cooper, which I think was actually came in second place. And then this car was in like third or fourth, which is crazy to think about. Crazy. Guys, that is that is amazing. But as well, this car was very successful on the track back in its day, winning multiple races and just, it's an awesome race car, guys. It really is. Kind of, I think I would love to see this actually over in Forza Motorsport 7 rather than here at Horizon, but I'm sure we can do some fun stuff with it here. So after that, on January 31st, we have the week of classic mini cars, I guess we can say. And starting things off, we have the 1966 Hillman Imp. Now, I have never heard of this car until yesterday when they actually announced this thing. 
but apparently was built as a direct competitor to the Mini Cooper, which that's kind of interesting. That is kind of interesting. Although, in my opinion, I think the Mini Cooper looks a hell of a lot better than this thing. But one of the things that did come out of this car is that they discovered that it was actually a rather successful rally car. And another interesting thing is that this car was considered to be well ahead of its time as many of the features that were implemented into this vehicle were not really popularized until the 1970s, such as like a folding rear seat. I didn't even realize folding rear seats didn't come around until the 1970s. You know, I my Honda Civic had a folding rear seat. And that, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, but I always thought, eh, you know, whatever. It's just a small car, the way to make it fit more stuff. But I didn't even realize that this didn't, that this is like one of the few cars that had it back in the day that is kind of cool in my opinion but next up what we have is the 1963 opal cadet a the famous oliver from top gear this car was considered to be a more modern choice at the time ahead of the very popular volkswagen beetle however though in the 1970s it did prove that it had a very limited longevity as it started to rust it started to have major rust issues, which, in fact, the fact that Hammond's Opal Cadet from Top Gear wasn't like some crappy old rust box is absolutely amazing. The fact that he was able to find one of these, crazy, 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 crazy. But then our final week on February 7th is going to be the week of Classic Fords. And starting things off, we have a very very famous Ford in the 1968 Ford Mustang GT 2 plus 2 Fastback. Of course, this is the car driven by Steve McQueen in Bullet, and it's just an absolute beauty to behold. We already have a first generation Mustang in this game. Actually, we have several if you want to go ahead and consider the Hoonicorns. I'm, I'm not considering them, though. So, you know, really overall, there's not a whole lot to talk about this car other than the fact that it's from Bullet, and it looks really freaking cool i mean that's all i can say this is going to be an amazing addition to the game then finally we have the 1965 ford transit this is the first generation of the ford transit now there was actually a previous generation which was the townus transit but i think ford bought them and then made the ford transit so this is the first generation of the ford transit there was a previous generation before but it really wasn't Ford at the time so we're gonna go ahead and ignore that of course this vehicle is not very fast it only has 73 horsepower but I mean if you look over here the Opal Cadet only has 46 and the Hillman Imp only has 55 like there are some pretty damn slow cars in this bunch we got three cars with less than 100 horsepower in this car pass but of course this car wasn't made to be fast this is a work vehicle that's really all we can say about it. I mean, this car was meant to throw ladders and paint and milk jugs and whatever you could think of into the back of this thing. Use it as a delivery vehicle. Use it as a work vehicle. You know, it, it's a workhorse. It's not a sports car like the Mustang. The Mustang's got 325 horsepower. This thing, it, it knew its place. It knew what it was going to do. But I am going to make this into an, a rally monster. That is what I'm going to do with this car, and I cannot wait. So, but anyway, though, that is where we're going to go and wrap things up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash square 413 and instagram.com forward slash square 413. And if you guys like this video, go and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos come out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.